Ms. Yuan Ling. Even as many of us at work transit to the new normal, one thing we hope remains the same, flexible work arrangements. In creating safe and inclusive workplaces, one must not only eliminate discrimination regarding the who at work, but also the how we choose to engage in our work. Flexible work arrangements have proven to be key to allowing employees achieve better work-life harmony, and it can promote a more engaged and productive workforce, allowing our workers to accomplish their tasks at work while meeting their personal responsibilities at home. The recommendations of the Tripartite Committee on Workplace Fairness goes hand in hand with flexible workplace arrangements, providing, providing the flexibility to accommodate back to work women who have to take care of young children or elderly loved ones is a function of ensuring that women who hold multiple roles both at work at, and at home are not discriminated against for the outsized role we women play in society. Flexible work arrangements are also not limited merely to that of location, but can also be extended to work hours, the work week, and even work tasks. Given the difficulties many industries face regarding manpower, employers need to be ingenious and creative in its adoption of flexible work arrangements to ensure that we can maximize our workforce. And this can start with our back-to-work women who possess, who possess both the skills and desire to return to work. Recognising the importance of FWAs, I seek the Ministry's clarifications on how it attempts to encourage more companies to continue to embrace FWAs and, in particular, performance appraisals, job and cultural redesign to support women with caregiving responsibilities to stay in their jobs or to return to the workplace seamlessly after a, after a hiatus in their careers. 